Hello, Biotube. Well, it seems like inflation finally got to Authentics. This is not a bad alt mode sculpt at all, but the... And why are the blue and silver inverted? I guess because the bumper has to be silver? It's just really dumb, and the wheels, they barely exist. But the truck sculpt itself is good, I guess there's that. The transformation on this is good, but what is going on with those legs? Wow, that is that is just shockingly bad. The fact that they don't separate is not the problem. The fact that there's no added value to them not separating, that's the problem. For example, King Jader can get away with the mono leg because he just is that good of a toy. His gimmick is being enormous, but light enough that a kid can play with him easily. Not only does the mono leg make him lighter, it also makes him sturdier, which is something important for a toy this big. Which, given these are characters that typically fell over, I can see why they did this. It's just not very good. And again, with Grimlock, the sculpt is great, except for the fact that he has no hands. They try to make up for this by having the tail have some parts forming so it can become a sword. Far less egregious than Optimus, but it is still something pretty not great. The alt mode finally has arms, but they're in this horrendous gummy plastic, same as the tail. Which sucks because the rest of this figure in this mode looks great. If this figure had different plastics and hands in robot mode, it would be a passable figure. But now it's just a passable figure in a different way. On second glance, he does have hands in robot mode buried deep within his legs. An old Happy Meal trick and one that doesn't work great on this figure. There really is nothing to this Bumblebee. Which really begs the question, why do Optimus and Bumblebee always get the worst toys? The alt mode is alright, the wheels are barely there, and at least he has side windows unlike the previous one. And then there's Megatron, I don't know what's going up with his hands, they look to be articulated somehow. That's pretty neat because the rest of him looks like a one-step changer. Mind you, he's the only one of them that looks like a complete figure and not something that is missing pieces. Or transformation steps. His alt mode isn't great either, it looks like a one step, but it's functional. If Grimlock didn't use the gummy plastic, he would be better, but he does, so. Megatron just all around is the best figure from this wave, and that's just not good. I don't know, were they trying to kill interest from the collector market? Besides the sculpting, these Happy Meal toys are better than these guys. But getting back to Megatron, this Megatron is fantastic. It's a nice and expensive Voyager sized Megatron, with a good sculpt and good paint. And the alt mode looks great too. Really makes you wonder, were the old authentic figures just so good that it was cheaper to make these horrendous new molds than to reprint them? And why is this Megatron not affected by that? This is an extremely baffling turn for Hasbro's most unusual line. And then we have Wheeljack, of course, which is your typical Titan changer with minimal paint. Which reminds me, this is how Bumblebee Wheeljack is supposed to look. I guess it's a little bit better than the whole. You can see the exposed hollowness and all that. And of course we have Primus going to be revealed January 30th at 11 a.m. Just guessing it's Primus, it's probably Primus because who else would it be? After all, it's the 40th. Honestly, I'd like to see this Primus in Generations. I mean, they can make it a Generation Selects a redeco of the Kingdom Rodimus Prime. Imagine being. Links below.